What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Commons Collectibles and welcome back to another video. You guys know what day it is. That's right. It is the Hot 10 Comics of the Week. The breakdown, if you guys aren't familiar with what I do in this video, I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app and I break them down one by one, letting you, letting you guys know if I'm a buyer here at these prices or if I be staying away or possibly even selling. Before we get started in the video, like always guys, if you are not a current subscriber of the channel and have been digging my content, I want you to go ahead and click that subscribe button for me now. I want you to tap that like button if you enjoy this video because it does help the algorithm out. And of course, I want you to turn on the notification bell because it lets you guys know when I post a video. With that said, we're going to jump in here. At number 10 is a copy of Marvel Premiere number 28, The First Legion of Monsters. This book was on the list last week, and if you guys don't know, the four members of the Legion of Monsters are Ghost Rider, Morbius, Man-Thing, and Werewolf by Night, and a CGC 4.5. Just sold last week for 130 bucks, but guess what? There hasn't been a sale for a CGC 4.5 in such a long time. There is no data to compare it to. But for 130 bucks, I don't care. Go ahead, spend the money. To me, I think you need to buy this book in an 8.0 or higher. To me, I'm not spending the high amounts that this book is going for right now. I told you guys last week that I'd be trying to buy the individual first appearances of these characters. But nonetheless, if you want to pick up a cheap copy and add it to the collection, I do think it's an awesome book. But it's a thumbs down for me at the high price range. At number 9 this week is a copy of Marvel Spotlight. Number 5, the first appearance of Johnny Blaze, the Ghost Rider. You guys know if you watch some of my latest videos that this book has been one of the hottest there is. And the, all the Ghost Rider keys are going up in value right now. And a CGC 6.0 just sold last week for $2,750, up 4% since March. You guys know I have been a big advocate of this book and I am still a buyer here at these prices. Yes, I want to add it to the collection before Ghost Rider shows up in the MCU. And guess what? He is coming. There are rumors there might be a Ghost Rider appearance in Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness. But guess what? If he doesn't show up, it's no big deal. The book will come down a little bit and you can pounce on it right then and there. But I'm definitely adding this one before he shows up. At number 9 this week is a book that's been on fire for the past couple of weeks. It is a copy of Nova Number 1, the first appearance of Nova Richard Ryder. Guess what? We all know that Nova is going to show up in the MCU sooner rather than later. There's been a rumor out there that he's going to either get his own Disney Plus show or possibly star in somebody else's movie. Regardless, a CGC 7.5 just sold last week for $220, bucks, up 5% since December. To me, if you want to own this book, guys, you really have to get it in a 9.6 or a higher. There are so many copies of this book out there right now. I'm not spending 200 bucks on a 7.5 CGC copy. To me, it's just not a high enough grade. I'll save the money and put it towards another book that I think will go higher in the future i don't think nova is a big character that i want to invest my money into but drop me comments down below let me know what you think at number seven this week is a monster blue chip key journey into mystery number 83 the first appearance of thor and with thor love and thunder almost upon us i think it's only less than three months away and we still haven't gotten a trailer this book is starting to heat up once again a cgc 4.0 just sold last week for $16,800, up 1% since October. To me, anytime you can get your hands on a blue chip Marvel key, you guys have to pull the trigger if you're interested in buying that book. They're great long-term investments. I have a 1.0, a measly 1.0 copy in my collection. But yes, I'm always adding these blue chip keys, so go ahead and buy one if you're interested. At number six is another blue chip key. It is a copy of Uncanny X-Men number one, the first appearance of the original X-Men. Now, that includes first appearance of Cyclops, Magneto, Iceman, Jean Grey, the Beast, and of course, Professor X. And we all know the rumors that Professor X may also show up in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. So that's why this book is also spiking in a CGC 7.0. Just sold last week for 63000 bucks, up 28% since last June. This is another blue chip key, like I said, a book that I'd always be buying at Annan's collection for the long term. If you're a big X-Men fan and you don't own this book, I don't know. A 7.0 is a really hard grade to come by. It's a, worth a hell of a lot of money. If you can pull off a nice looking copy of a 1.0, 2, 2.0, 2.5, that's what I'd be after. But this book is always worth adding to any collection if you can. 
At number five this week is another monster key, Ultimate Fallout number four, the first appearance of Miles Morales. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, my CGC unboxing, the return of my Ultimate Fallout 4, go check out that video because it shows you guys what my book came back at. And of course, at the grade, I don't want to spoil it. Regardless, CGC 9.8 just tied the all-time record high for 3840 bucks. Like I said, this that was set last July. We're, we're almost at the next July here. We're almost in uh, April and we're in May. Regardless, a year later, this book just hit the chart, top of the charts again. It's only a matter of time before this book breaks a new record. To me, am I a buyer of this book? Yes, I am. The only thing I'm going to say is I want to own it in a 9.6 or a 9.8. There's plenty of copies out there for everybody right now, and there seems to be a lot at 9.8. So yes, secure your copy of Miles if you don't have one. At number four this week is another classic cover. A copy of Silver Surfer number four, this classic John Bashima cover from the Silver Age. You guys know that I picked up another copy of this book about a month ago at the great King Khan show, and it was all worth it. A CGC 8.5 just sold last week for 3300 bucks, up 3% since May of last year. Now, that doesn't seem like a big increase for this grade, but it is an 8.5. And listen, a very, very fine copy of this book, almost a 9.0, is only 3000 bucks for this beautiful cover. You know Silver Surfer's coming. He may meet Thor in a new, you know, eventually in the MCU, and you don't think they're going to try to recreate this scene. You're damn right they are. I almost guaranteed it. 100% I'm a buyer of this book. I own two copies right now, and I just picked up another one, like I said. So please, if you want this book, go ahead and get it now before the Silver Surfer shows up in the MCU. At number three this week is another book that's been on the list every week for the past couple of months. It is a copy of Doctor Strange number 169, the first solo title going over to Doctor Strange from Tales of Suspense. Regardless, you guys know I've been saying I want to own this book. CGC 5.0 just sold last week for 535 bucks up 13% since February that's right just since last month this book is up 13% it has been super super hot you guys know I won't own this book any 6.0 or higher but hey if you can get a 5.0 for under 500 bucks I'm all for it as well this is a beautiful cover much better than Strange Tales 110 but Strange Tales 110 is the first appearance if you can get that one go for that if you can't this is the next best thing yes i'm still a buyer of this book at number two is a book we haven't seen on this list before hallelujah some finally some new books it is a copy of werewolf by night number one the first werewolf by night in his own solo title now if you guys don't know um i forgot what copy he is his first night i want to say it's marvel spotlight number two if my if my memory serves me correct, be careful because there are similar orange covers. Regardless, a CGC 7.0 just sold last week for 449 bucks, up 7% since February. Now, I love these early Werewolf by Night covers, and of course, I love the first appearance of as well of Werewolf by Night. I'd rather own the first appearance, however, over this book. I do would, would love to have this one in my collection, but I'm not nearly spending 500 bucks on a 7.0 copy of it. I just don't see it being worth it when you can get the first appearance for probably a little bit more money. So I would stick to the first appearance rather than this first solo. But hey, if you can't do the first and add this, but for me, I'm staying away from this one. And at the top spot is another major blue chip key. I love it when these blue chippers hit this list, man, because these are the books you guys should really be going after. It is a copy of Fantastic Four, number one, the first appearance of the Fantastic Four. And you guys know they've already announced a Fantastic Four movie. I don't know when it's actually going to hit. Regardless, this book has just hit another record. A CGC 2.0 just sold last week for $16,600, up 7%. Since March, that's right, guys. 7% in one month. This book is starting to heat up again. Again, a lot of a big book that a lot of people can't afford. I probably am not going to spend this amount of money on this book, but yes, it is 100% worth it. The first family of Marvel, the first appearance of probably some of the greatest, greatest characters ever created by Stan Lee and Marvel. Yes, I want to own this book 100%, but only if you guys can afford it. If you can, go ahead and jump on it because even if you get a 1.0 that's complete, no resto, it's still going to cost you a pretty penny. But yes, I'm always a buyer if you can, guys. 
So that's it for the list this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me comments down below. Let me know if I made a mistake or if you didn't agree with any of my picks. Regardless, if you guys haven't checked out my last video on Tuesday, I started a new series called Cop or Drop, where I give you guys one book a week that I'm buying and one week, uh, one book a week that I'm selling. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. You guys go ahead and click it because it is a ton of fun. With that said, guys, this is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.